I interrupt this program to bring you some game-changing news. Hey friends, thought that intro would be fun, but this actually is game-changing news. I interrupted my whole life, stopped everything. I had a cold, you can hear it on my voice, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It does not matter because Hack the Box has gone blue. Hack the Box, as we know it, will never be the same. All right, I know, tad dramatic over there, but if you have been around for a while, you will know that I sound like a broken record. Almost in every video, I'm like, you should gain skills and a platform that you should try out is Hack the Box, da 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 da. They have made this year for me in terms of cybersecurity educational skills and initiatives. Also, I'm gonna be drinking some tea throughout this video because I am kind of recovering from a cold and whatnot. So just bear with me on this. The information will make it worth it. All right, friends, so that's right. The Masters of Ethical Hacking has literally come up with a killer hands-on certification program for cyber defenders. And basically the motivation behind this program is that they acknowledge that unfortunately cyber criminals are getting smarter and smarter and smarter. Cyber defenders are struggling. We're burning out. We, there's not enough ramp up for skilled professionals to actually meet the demand in the industry today. And certifications alone, again, broken record going here, but certifications alone is not what gets you there, right? We need skilled professionals. So Hack the Box has produced a program, a program that produces skilled professionals at the end of it. Now, this is brand new, but let's work through this and talk through some of the content of what is covered in this program, whether this program is for you, at what level you will be if you decide to go on this journey, and of course, what the price is of the program. All right, now this program is called the Hack the Box Certified Defense Security Analyst Certification, HTBCDSA. I think I did it. That's the acronym, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just call it the Hack the Box Security Defense Certification. And basically it is aimed at getting professionals or individuals interested in cybersecurity from a zero entry level state to an intermediate level when it comes to skilling. Firstly, let's look at the platform credibility. So how credible is the platform? How likely are you to be recognized as a skilled professional in the industry after you've completed this program? Hack the Box has been around for years. It is one of the highest recommended platforms from a skilling perspective. Hack the Box has worked with multiple organizations to large enterprises, military-based organizations to produce proper skilled professionals. So here you're really getting kind of the recognition that goes with Hack the Box as a skilling platform itself. So even though this is a brand new certification, there is some sort of acknowledgement that Hack the Box has produced kind of this at the level at which they're known for in the industry. And therefore you might gain a lot of credibility by doing this certification. Also because Hack the Box is known for a platform that provides hands-on skills and hands-on knowledge. The Defense certification from Hackbox covers over 15 in-depth modules. It's really comprehensive. And as I mentioned, it's aimed to get you at to an intermediate level. Let's talk about some of the skills that is obtained in this certification. Firstly, we'll start with the Security Operations Center processes and methodologies. So you'll get an intro here to the SOC, the processes in the SOC, the procedures to follow, the best practices, Security Operations Center monitoring, logging, etc. Then you'll get hands-on experience in SIM operations. So here they mention two specific platforms which is Elk and Splunk and these are really well utilized platforms in the industry so there you know you're getting some good hands-on knowledge and experience. 
Moving over to the logging analysis section. So here you'll do actual log analysis of operating systems, network devices, security events. You'll have to work through spotting different suspicious activities and then basically linking this back to different attack types. And that will help you get that environmental contextual knowledge that's required if you are to become a security analyst or a SOC analyst. Further to this, they cover Active Directory passing the hash Kerber roasting and a lot of the AD based attacks, network traffic analysis, malware analysis and then incident handling. What I like about the incident response process is you'll have to work through really identifying the threat, determining the impact, containing and then eradicating and then you'll also have to work on documenting and reporting and communication and these are all real world skills that you would need if you are to enter the job market as a cybersecurity analyst or as a SOC analyst. Now, Moving on to the exam itself. So the exam actually requires you to detect, monitor, and respond to an actual bridge scenario. It will require you to handle a proper incident in the hack the box cloud based environment. So which means that you'll have to utilize all of the skills that you've gained throughout the different modules, these 15 modules, in order to pass this very intrusive and invasive hands-on exam. Now, for some of the more integrated nitty gritties, you can't take the exam if you haven't gone through the modules and the learning path itself. Secondly, you shouldn't be afraid if you are a complete beginner because Hack the Box as a platform itself has always been for complete beginners. So even if it takes you a little bit longer to get to the stage where you are ready to take the exam, you can do some of the other foundational and beginner training first and then do the Defender certification itself. Next up, let's talk about the pricing. Now, Hack the Box has always offered a bunch of flexible pricing options, right? So this means that you can even right now, you can go into Hack the Box and you can start for completely free. But in the shift that the company has made recently, they've shifted to the Hack the Box Academy type platform. And what this just means is that you can do the full path of certifications that they've already mapped out and grouped for you, which makes it slightly easier. But with this also comes various costing options and Hack the Box is always kind of flexible in the pricing. You can get the individual modules for the program or for the course itself on Hack the Box, and then you'll have to pay a price of $210 to take the exam. Or you get the full package and the price that you'll pay is $490 for one year. Those are the different pricing options. Now with Hack the Box, the really cool thing about this is that this is a platform where you can try some of the content and the modules for free always before you make the investment which is really cool because sometimes the training style or the content or the way the program is set up is just not for you and you know we all learn differently and we all should actually be able to try before we buy so that's one of the best things that i really enjoy about hack the box is that you can play around and play around and you don't have to pay for anything if it's something that you're not willing to invest in. But this program really has got my full attention because of course it is Hack the Box. It is one of the most credible platforms that I know. And I'm really excited that blue teaming is having such a moment these days. I'm really here for it. All right, so if you wanna check out this program, then I have a link down below that you can go to, to go to either the Hack the Box site itself or directly to the program. But definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts on the program. And if you enjoy my content, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. Let me know down below what other content you would like to see covering cybersecurity, cybersecurity certifications, training, educational programs, or anything that you're interested in from a cybersecurity perspective. And next up, you should definitely watch this video where I talk more about how to become a cybersecurity analyst. That is it, friends. Thanks for sticking with me through this video. I will catch you next time. Bye.